Okay, hi everyone. It's been a while since I did my last video, so I've got a new camera in my endless pool, so I thought I would just uh, do a little video as I'm having a nice little session after I've been coaching all day. So you just might make out there, I have my boom headphones on, a little bit of music in my endless pool. I don't listen to it any other way, any other place when I'm swimming, but endless pool, I love having my headphones on. And I've also got my hand paddles, so just doing a bit of a stretch out really, and just testing out the new camera which I have. So I've got a new head-on camera, which is really nice. So this one down, this one down here is just new, which allows me to have my both my other cameras underwater. And I, you know, I don't mind looking at my own stroke because I know it's not it's not perfect by no means. So it's always good to coaches should. Be happy to look at their own stroke i think from time so let's have a little look through and let's see what i'm doing um okay let's start off the top one here so hand entry i enter the water quite late on i tell my clients to enter a little bit earlier than what i do i enter near the near the wrist if the arm was out straight and then i push forwards from there now you can see my hands gone in on that from that angle. It looks like it's gone in and on that side it's just gone out just a little bit fraction. It should have pushed out straight a bit more. Let's look at another angle from there. So yeah, you can see my hands just tilted towards the camera right there instead of just stay nice and flat. Now I'm going to imagine that I'm going to straighten it up soon for the pull. Yeah, so I do straighten it. But yeah, that's definitely a bit of a thing I do with my left arm. It's just scooped out to the side. Reason for that is because I breathe to one side predominantly. So you do tend to get a little quirk on that outer arm. So it's something I just need to be aware of and work on. Now here you see uh, top left hand side. You can just see my wrist does bend at the start of a stroke. That is something which I intend to do. Some coaches don't think you should. I know a lot of elite swimmers who definitely do do that. And for me, it just helps me just feel that water and it sets me up for that high elbow. So you can see now, that's not too bad actually. My God, my high elbow catch coming in there. And we've got the changeover. You can see my other hand entering the water at this point. So I have, you know, probably a typical long distance from a stroke in that I am very much sort of up front with my stroke, almost catch up style at times. So pulling through. And my hands should be exiting just by my trunk, the end of my trunk line. So just my thigh, that's where I'm going to exit. And now my elbow leads the way. Let's just pop down here and have a look at my elbow. So I should have a nice high elbow. And my hand should be below my elbow the whole way. Yeah, that's not too bad. And actually, I've gone in the water, as I said, gone in probably, I could go in, go in a couple of inches a little bit sooner. But I do push out on that arm, as you can see. So I am stretching out and rotating. The hips are rotating at this point. So I get a nice long pull. Um, yeah, okay. It's always, it's always hard looking at yourself. but So yeah, high elbow pull. Okay, not, not too unhappy about that. Hands. Just there, my hands just rising up a little bit. This could be a little bit because of the endless pull. I'm getting a bit of flow coming underneath catching the paddle slightly, but ideally my hands wouldn't go above my shoulder before the catch, so it is drop down there, and you can see I'm starting to go over that arm. It looks like from there that the elbow's kind of not leading, but I think that's the angle more than anything. I, one of the things people say is that you should imagine that there's a barrel, and your arm is going over the barrel. That's kind of, you know, it's not a bad thing just to visualize that you're not dropping that elbow too much. And let's just play it through now, just normal speed, and see what else I can pick out. Yeah, definitely the left hand, I need to sort out a bit. The right hand isn't as bad entering. It's going in, fingers first, and then pushing forwards. Again, probably going, definitely going up a little bit there. Going up a fraction where I should just be keeping that hand pointing straight forwards. In fact, the arm should be just slightly lower than that. So I'm not going to put any stress on that shoulder, which I don't want to do. And 
Okay, let's run that through again. But hip rotation. So hip rotation is quite important. If you're like me and you tend to breathe to one side more than the other. I can bilateral breathe, but I prefer to breathe to one side when I'm doing long distance swims. Then as you go in on your non-breathing side, so let's look at this one again. So I breathe to the right, but now my arm's coming down. I'm going back into the neutral position. My head should be locking in place. Head locks, but then the body is continuing to rotate. So that's what you want to do. So I just get that hip rotation going both ways. A slight over rotation of anything on that side, but it's pretty streamlined. But you don't want to be a lopsided swimmer. So as you breathe, you're just rotating that one way. You want to make sure you rotate both ways. Okay, so a bit of work I can do there. I've got to say, finally, I was conscious. I was videoing myself on this one. It's amazing how you suddenly become like a do sort of a bit weird, weird strokes. But yeah, so I'm going to go and I'm going to sort out that hand a little bit. I do get into the right position for the catch, but definitely just floats up there at the start. Get the catch and pull that through. Let's get this one here. Watch this one a little bit. It's quite a nice angle, this one, for looking at things. You sort of see me sort of reaching out each time. So I'm reaching out in front, trying to get that long line in the water. That's what I'm going for. You know, my legs aren't, you know, I'm not sort of angled down or anything like that. I'm pretty close to the surface with that body line. What music was I listening to there? I think I was listening to some Nick Cave. Um, so going a bit... The music does affect my swimming. I find if suddenly ACDC comes on, then I'm flying along. And I've got to sort of turn the speed of pace there. I'm actually... I set it to 124 pace. That's where I was going for some reason. So enough that with the paddles on, I can work a little bit. Uh, otherwise, with the paddles, I just tend to... I can go really easy at that pace. So there's front on view, head on view. Again, this is the new camera. So I'm quite pleased that I've got this... And then this pull as well. Not looking too bad. Again, high elbow. Now, there's different ways of doing the recovery, different techniques. Uh, I tend to come more straight through than doing a really wide recovery. And then my hand is set up for going in shoulder width and pushing forward. That's the way I sort of tend to swim. If I go yeah, sort of up and through, nice relaxed hands. If I go too wide in the recovery, then I feel that, you know, the hand can then continue that wide, that wide sort of trajectory as it's going in, and you can end up going across the center line as you enter. You can end up sort of coming in that angle. Whereas when I go straight through, I like to try and come in sort of shoulder as I can. And play normal speed again from that angle. Let's see what else I can see. Yeah, just that left hand kicking out sometimes. Once I pull, yeah. Oh dear me, needs to work on the left hand. Anyway, so it's always good to have a quick look. But anyway, that's my pool setup as well. Now this pool setup, been coaching some people just before, and really good to have these different angles. So the top one, I've got the side profile. Look at the catch from that one. Overhead shots next. That's always. You know, this is always useful, especially when coaching people breaststroke. Really get a good look at the kick on that side. But here I can sort of see where the hands are exiting the water. It's quite important from that angle. And then head-on shots, obviously looking at the center line, arm recovery. And then this shot here, you can really see if you're stretching out. And when you're breathing, you want to see that the head is not coming up out of the water. Cool. Okay, hope you enjoyed that little review of my stroke again and I promise I'll work on my technique and try and do better. If you want to see me, my name is Colin Hill. I own a company called Allswater Swim Place. You can look at allswaterswimplace.com and, and you can come along for endless pool sessions and of course my open water sessions that I run. I've got a boat on the water. I live at Allswater so I am a local here and I do length of lake swims, cross lake swims, family wild swims and introduction to open water as well as the endless pool sessions. And it's really nice to have sort of a combination of a endless pool session along with an open water session. And you can really sort of practice that stroke. Specialize in all abilities from complete beginners who can't swim all the way through to elite triathletes coming in, county swimmers, and various clubs coming for a swim session. So thank you very much.